Hello, everybody. Welcome back. My name is Sandra. Thank you so much for joining me for this video. So this is my much anticipated uh, Franklin Covey classic setup for 2024. So this is really an overview. I am not going into super detail here. Um, I will be filling a few things out, um, including my goals. I was going to save it, but I actually got them today. So I'm filming this December 18th which is perfect timing. So I'll have this video up for the end of the month. And as you can see, I am not in a new binder. I chose this Planner Love binder. So this is the Gingham Gardens Planner Love from a few years back. Um, when I first started getting into Franklin, I found this one and they had the compact um, as well. And I wanted to purchase that one and I never got my hands on it. So if you guys know, of a compact in this style let me know if you're willing to part with it because this girl is looking to get one <laughs> so let me know but in the interim let's take a look and i'll show you what my setup is all about so i don't have quite everything in here yet um, because i do still it's december 18th i still i'm still in my other planner for about you know 13 days or so but I have the majority of everything in here. So I am going to also be using the Planners Anonymous, um, the, the Northern Lights one, like the new one that's coming out, the, the planner kit. Right now I'm using um, a combination of the um, Into the Wild from last, uh, was it last year or the beginning of this year? It might have been the beginning of this year. And then I'm also using a combination of Heartfelt Home, which is, I'll show you a picture of that one, this one here. So we'll do like a general flip through as I go through, but for now, this is what I've chosen to do. So now I remember when I first did my very first Franklin Covey setup, so I had purchased everything from Franklin. I had the dividers and I had um, just basically everything. Like I hadn't, I didn't have like, you know, the tabs that I have now. And when you get into it, my first recommendation is don't purchase all the things, especially if you want to be um, like a, a decorative planner or, you know, half functional, half decorative planner. Don't buy everything at once. Start out small and get your binder. You know, that's the main thing. And then get yourself some dividers so they can still be the Franklin the dividers that come with the, like the planner inserts. And get yourself planner inserts because if, for example, like me, if you have the day on two page, here I'm using um, the leadership planner, but you have so much room. So, I mean, this is probably more than enough room for anybody to use. So you've got an appointment schedule. If you've got appointments throughout the day, you've got a task list, and then you've got a whole notes page per day. So, I mean... It's perfect. I also, however, like to use a weekly planner as well. And I'm using the Teresa Collins setup. So this isn't your conventional planner. Like a lot of people prefer the vertical style calendar where you can time block. I don't like time blocking because I have three small kids. And for me, that just doesn't work very well. Um, another way, if I never had daily inserts, like if, if you know, if I found that um, I didn't need daily inserts. The weekly um, horizontal would it, like that works great. I used to use a horizontal um, Aaron Condren, and I loved it. I loved it so much. But now my planning needs because I put my business and my personal stuff all on my one daily sheet. It's just not enough room. So I like to have this as an overview, and I kind of do like I do a master monthly task list, and then. From there, throughout the month, I pull over tasks to each of my weeks. And then I put the things that are happening here. And then from that list, I pull over my daily tasks. And then there's some daily tasks that don't quite make it to the weekly. But my day, my days fill up really, really quickly. If you've seen any of my Plan With Me's in the past, currently I am doing Plan Miss. So maybe I'll link that playlist for you. But my list on each day is almost the entire length of the page. So it is quite crazy for me, um, but it lets me get lots of things done. So I don't feel pressured to like cross up everything on my list, but it, it makes me feel very productive if I get the majority of them crossed off. 
So if we go back to the beginning, um, what I did here is I have my decorative page, of course. So I always start off my planner with some decoration. And then, like I said, this is Into the Wild from Planners Anonymous. I believe they still have it. And then this page here, so I have this decorative edger. I bought clear acetate from Amazon, and then I bought these decorative edgers from the Planner Society. So I have different colors here. I've got four different ones. This beautiful one is probably my favorite. Then this translucent one, this more blue one, and then this green one, which is also beautiful, and it goes with this one perfectly. I have some various planner charms in here. This one is from Into the Wild with the snowflakes on it, which is perfect for January here in Alberta anyway. And then I also used the um, Starlet Stories planner charms because they kind of go as well. So I put those in there. I've got some gnome stickers from um, Archie Frankie. And then I have this cute little bow from uh, Simply Gilded. This is like from a really old, old subscription box. And I can't remember which one it was from, but it goes perfectly with these colors. Okay, to start off, I have my goals tab, which is on the right hand side. Just so you are aware, these tabs the top and the side tabs are from Dividers R Us. Currently her shop is closed because she was in for surgery, so I'm not sure when her shop will open again. But I have frosted ones as well as the glass clear plastic ones. Okay, so my first tab, um, all of my top tabs actually have stayed the same from 2023 till now. I think at the beginning of 2023 they may have been different, but I kept them because they are really working for me. I like this setup and I'm not going to change it. Um, like, I don't want to, you know, ruin what's working for me. So my first tab is goals. Um, and then I, again, I have, like, the values mission section in here from Franklin Covey. But I am actually an affiliate with Cultivate What Matters. So if you guys have heard of the Power Sheet system, it's like this this planner that is dedicated to goals. That is all it's for. There's prep work at the beginning of the planner, which actually took me about six hours to complete. In total, like, you know, the brainstorming process and the writing process and the filming, I will link that playlist for you if you guys are curious. Um, I have prep work videos for a few years, but the 2024 videos are, you know, they're up to date and current as of the filming of this video. And my roles and my mission kind of coincide with that. So, for example... Um, these are my values. So integrity and authenticity. I want to make sure that I'm honest and truthful in all of my dealings, whether it's on YouTube, whether it's in person, it doesn't matter. Um, and especially with myself. Okay, I want to have empathy and have patience. So especially with my family and my kids, because usually that's when we're our most judgmental, um, our emotions come out more. So when we're with close friends and family. So especially with my kids, I, I want to have more patience. Okay. Career, biz, and balance. So again, there's that word balance. I have not picked a word of the year yet, by the way, but balance was my word of the year for the last year. Balance is very important when it comes to my home life and my career and my business, because um, it's easy to like let go of your business and not work on it at all. And it's also easy to work too much and then not spend enough time at home with your family. So because I work from home, it's a little, it's difficult to have that balance, but that's one of my goals, my, my mission statement. Um, family. So this one has like a whole bunch of values together because they all kind of go together. So it's family, loyalty, respect, teamwork, and love. So I want to cultivate a family, um, teach my kids to learn that like about respect and about the value of teamwork. And so instead of like, you guys might have seen like that, all the, the videos on TikTok and Instagram and Facebook where they say that helping mom implies that all of the chores around the house are mom's job. And that's not true. So if you have a partner, whether it's female or male, I don't care. If you have a partner, those responsibilities are always shared, no matter who does what inside or outside the home. So I don't care. Like in my case, because I am inside the home and my husband is away, he works at a town right currently, um, it doesn't make sense that I'm just going to sit and not do anything while he's gone. Of course, I'm going to clean the house and cook the meals for the kids and do all of that stuff. But 
if I'm working, which I do, and then he works, which he does, and he works from home, and we both come home, the dishes and the laundry and the cleaning, they're not just all my responsibility because I'm the woman, if that makes any sense. From our household, it's equal, and our kids also need to start learning how to play a part. They're still young. My oldest is nine, so he's beginning to understand what the role of chores are in the household, is that, you know, it's not just up to one person or the adults or the oldest. It's up to everybody to contribute something. Okay, so fitness and health. So I am on a, I guess, not really a fitness journey, like a health journey, really. Um, this isn't just about physical, it's also about mental. And that's one of my biggest focuses this year because last year it was also a focus and I just never actually made it a focus. Um, my mental health has taken a huge pitfall this year for 2023. Um, I will... Uh, have actually, I think I might, may have already, no, I think it's posting on the second. I'll have a review of my goals for 2023. So we had uh, our son, Logan, he is almost a year old now. As of December 30th, he'll be a year old. Um, he was born with cystic fibrosis. And this whole year has kind of taken us on a journey. Um, we've had many, many pitfalls and it's been more than just his birth. Um, there have been lots of things that have happened throughout the year. And if you guys have followed me, you will know my story. Um, I did do a birth story about my son and it's very emotional. It is not monetized because it does touch on a very touchy subject. And I didn't want to, um, you know, I didn't want to make money off of something that could, it could be a potential trigger for people. So anyway, Long story short, I have a mental health journey as well as a physical health journey. So I am currently in the process of a weight loss journey. I have lost 50 pounds to date, um, starting from when I started, which is, you know, which is pretty amazing. I don't feel like I've like seen any results, but people are commenting on my appearance, which, you know, I don't really know if that's a good thing or a bad thing because nobody really has the right to comment on your appearance, but it's the first thing that people notice about you. So, I mean, I can't really say anything bad or good about that. Um, and I have been more, definitely more active. So you'll see that I have an Apple watch here. I actually got this, it's not even Christmas yet, but I, I got it as a Christmas present for my, my father-in-law. And um, I have noticed a huge trend um, because when you have your phone on you, it counts your steps only if you have your phone on you. If you put your phone down, which most of us do, especially if you have kids, it doesn't track every movement or every up and down the stairs run. So with my watch, it does. And I realize I'm actually moving 10,000 steps a day, which is crazy for a stay-at-home mom who works and sits at a desk all day. So um, I'm going to continue with my health journey. So making sure I track my medication, tracking my fitness, tracking my movement and my meals, all of that. And so that has definitely been a main focus. Um, beauty. So this is creating beauty um, by creating products. So whether that be my stickers, any art that I create, my lettering projects, and also I didn't put it on here, but makeup tutorials as well. Okay, education and learning. So I want to take a growth opportunity. I want to learn more about business. I want to learn more about um, various topics. So I'm going to, I actually have a reading goal too, which you guys will see, but um, I'm really excited about, about this one. And um, I'm, I'm using a commonplace book. So if you guys haven't heard of that, look it up. A commonplace or AKA learning book is basically where you write down your thoughts, quote, quotes, um, you know, interesting things that you've picked up along the way from podcasts, YouTube videos, books, anything that you want to remember. You write it down in what's called a commonplace notebook. It can be a notebook. It can be a series of notebooks. It can be binder, loose leaf paper in a binder. It doesn't matter, but you keep it for further inspiration. So I use that as inspiration for further content creation for my blogs or for further YouTube videos. Okay, gratitude. Um, I'm huge into gratitude. I express my gratitude on a weekly basis right now, but I would mind, wouldn't mind doing that on a daily basis. So it just depends, um, again, all on the time. <laughs> 
but I am very grateful for everything that I have in my life right now that's positive and even for some of the negative things because they sure have taught me a lesson which if you go back and watch the uh, 2023 goal review video you'll see there. Okay, and the last one is spirituality. So I consider myself a pagan. I do not have uh, a religion per se, so I am not Wiccan, um, but I do practice. I have spell work. I ground on a regular basis. Um, I do protective circles. So I do a little bit of witchcraft. And again, I want to focus more on educational learning, which I will call personal growth and personal development. So um, those are two that, and, and I also do tarot and oracle, and then I, I do a lot of journaling. So I have um, a shadow work journal that I want to work on, and then I also have a book called Tarot for Transformation. So it's basically learning more about yourself through the tarot, and it's really, really interesting. Um, but I want to have more time for that, and I actually want to schedule that into my, my daily routine and my weekly routine if I can. Okay, so activity two is about roles. So I am a parent. I have three kids, nine, three, and then one year. Okay, I am also a wife, a daughter, a CEO for my business and home because I do run our household, and an artist. So I consider myself an artist in multiple um, aspects. And then you've got starting point questions. So I write down... Um, it says, what one thing could you accomplish in your professional life that would have the most positive impact? So my most positive impact, I don't know if I've written it down here. You can read what I've written, but is mostly about um, making a, ch like not a change, but making an impact on people who watch. So whether that's, if you learn from me, that's what I want. If I give you inspiration, that's what I want. That's my main goal. Okay. So personal life, I want to spend more time with my kids and have enough money that we can go on fun trips and do fun things. I've never been on a vacation, let alone a vacation with my kids. And I mean like vacation as in like going on a plane and going somewhere. I've never been. I've been on a plane, but it wasn't really a vacation. So, um, okay. And then the kind of person I want to be. So hardworking, humble, responsible, mysterious, loving, genuine, compassionate. I am an empath and obviously I want to be caring and lovable. Okay, so all the things I want to do. So these are like big dreams and then things I want to have. Uh, moving on. So these are tribute statements that you fill out. So you pretend that, um, you know, you've lived your life and then the person talking would, what they would say about you. Okay, Eval activity six is evaluation questions. So your greatest moments of happiness and fulfillment. Um, what activities do I most enjoy and find most fulfilling in professional and personal life? What talents and capacities do I have or do I want? And how can I best contribute to the world? Okay, and then that all leads you to your personal mission statement. So I have created a huge one. Um, I'm not going to go through it all, but it is um, something that I'm going to continue reading. I'm going to come back to this and read it and try to remember everything that I was feeling in this moment because I feel like I was very positive here. So now we move on to the goal inserts that I received today. So I've also got these 90 day goal inserts. So it gives you quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, quarter four. I don't know if I'm filling those out, but I do want to fill out these ones here. I think I'll just fill out the first like first page of calendars here. So I'm going to quickly do this and then we'll come back and talk about it.
<clears throat> I wanted to show you how I'm planning on using these inserts. So I'm also going to have my um, my work planner. Um, I can't remember. I think I filled my my business goals out after I showed my work planner. And it just so happened that I'm showing this within this video. But this is how I'm using the Jane's Agenda um, like quarterly overview goals for my personal planner. So um, I don't have any work stuff on here at all. So I'm keeping my goals in my planner, my home planner, just home stuff. And then my business planner will have just business goals. So um, I really want to keep that separate, but everything is together in my Cultivate What Matters planner. Um, and that's right here. So on my, my tending list, everything is um, together. Okay. Um, so the only other thing I'm missing on here is that I want to schedule. Um, I'm going to actually put, put spots on here for this. So one would be spiritual. And one is personal development. Okay. So I like how this is broken up. So you can put important dates here. Um, here you can have goals and then here's projects. So technically for me, a project is a goal or a goal could be a project. Um, so all of this stuff is on my goals, but it gives you more room than just, you know, like, I guess you could have had two columns here. That would have worked too. But this is nice because these are going to be bigger projects. Whereas this, like, I guess technically these are bigger projects. I need to break those up as well. But like put away Christmas stuff. That's pretty straightforward, right? Organizing it, pretty straightforward. But my desk space refresh is a big project. And it's going to take a little bit more time than just like an hour or two. So that's why they're bigger projects. Same with the filing cabinet. It might take a couple of hours. And the same with the basement. So that is it for my goals, specifically for January. So you'll see, like, I'll put things on here as they come. And I'm probably missing dates here. But, you know, I have January and that's all that counts right now. So as I see my son's school dates, I'll put those on. Um, I just haven't looked forward that far yet. Okay, so that's it for my goals. So as we continue, and you'll see there's note paper on the back. Um, but that's, that's what it will look like. So that's my first quarter. Okay, and then you've got quarter two and quarter three, quarter four. And then if I do need to break something down a little bit further, I've got this these goal inserts as well. Okay. Okay, so then I have a discovery ledger in here. I haven't filled this out yet and I won't fill this out now, but this is from cloth and paper. And then I also have a reflection. So for every quarter, I will write a little bit of um, reflection. I believe this is for like... I don't know if it's every month, but we're not here yet, obviously. So I thought it was more of an a year, end end of year kind of thing, but I'm just going to do it by each quarter once we get there. And then I have some compass cards, which I might use um, in my page finder. Okay, so the next one is Brain Dump. Okay, so Brain Dump, I have this Brain Dump from Fancy Plans Co. So these are prompts you can use to do a brain dump. And basically everything that's in your head, you write it here under each of these headings, and then you can schedule it. You can put it now, soon, later, or if time. And it really helps you schedule it. And then if it's now, you put it on your today, like right now, right? Or this week. Soon might be within the month. Later is whenever. And then if time is something that you'd like to do, but not necessarily urgent. Okay, and then this... I can't remember. This might just be stuff I wanted to fill out. So I'm going to cross it off as I go. I don't need to have those done yet. Discovery ledger, I will do that next time. Brain dump, not yet. But inbox transfer, I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I do have this overview um, page with some sticky notes on it. So it's a place for me to keep some sticky notes. I literally only have four or five sheets here, so not enough to make a big bulk in my planner. Okay, and that's an overview. So what I do with that is I take one of those and stick it here. And then if I remember that I stuck it there, I will take it off when I'm not busy and then schedule it or do whatever I need to do with that note. Okay, so for inbox, I'm going to transfer what I have, um, any of the information that is um, relevant and necessary. I'm going to take it from my old one.
So that's done. So you can see how nice it looks. If, you know, you have a brand new one. It's just like so simple. So inbox transfer. Um, I'm going to check out the future log, although I don't know what I can write on here right now. Um, ideally, I would love to be able to put like the days, but it's going to be a lot of work. So I could technically do that for just the beginning, like the first quarter. So I might do that because I know January 1st is a Monday. So that hardly took any time at all. So I'm just going to write in as many dates as I know. Okay, so I'm just going to do this for now, but I'm going to sit down later, go through all of my son's school dates and um, the rest of the year, because I just did the first quarter here, but this is going to be a lot to do. And I'll also probably put the days of the week beside just to make it easier for myself, because I like to know when the weekends are. And another good tip is... Another really good tip is to highlight um, in the color of your choice, of course, um, the weekends. Sometimes it's really nice to do so then you know when the weekends are. Okay, so there. So I've highlighted the weekends and it looks kind of pretty. <laughs> I mean, if you're into the neutral kind of thing, you might want to do, might not want to do that. Okay, so I'm going to leave the rest of that. We'll come back to that later. Um, monthly, sometimes I stick my um, task cards in here, so I might do that going forward. This is also from Into the Wild. And then I have a creative overview and a week overview, which I might use. I will fill this out when I get to the monthly. Same with the calendar. Um, you'll notice I am using the Teresa Collins version because it's more neutral and I can decorate however I want. So sometimes what I like to do, if I'm in a decorative mood, I will use a Teresa Collins version. And sometimes if I don't care as much, I will use this version. So I might use this version this month. Um, and then on the back, sometimes I was known for gluing these two pages together. So I glue it together and then I would use this page and this page for my tasks. Um, and I might do that again because usually by the time I get to this side, it's kind of hidden and it's on the back. So yeah, I might just do that. But then I, at least I know where the tabs are from this little January tab here. Okay, so that'll be done for the monthly. And then I don't think there's anything in the weekly. Again, this is Heartfelt Home. I just cut the paper in half. Um, so it's so nice because it starts on Monday the 1st, which is just brilliant. I love that. Okay, so it starts fresh for the week and for the, the new year. And it goes all the way to February 4th. And then you jump over into the new month. Okay. So I guess I kind of blew through that. So the top tab here was monthly and then weekly, and then I have a daily one. Okay, so daily I have the um, acetate from Heartfelt Home with a little bit of snow over top of the cardinals. I think that's so pretty. Then I have my page finder. So this is where I would put in a compass card and that would be my turn into my weekly goals. Okay, and then I have my index. So um, I go ahead and I use my daily as usual. So I put any appointments or if I have to leave the house, this is generally where I would put if I have to leave the house because that interrupts my business schedule. And then this is my task list. And then this is a note page. 
um, for things that I have to do. Sometimes my task list is longer than this, so I will migrate it over here. Um, and then if there's any important notes I write on the notes pages, I write it on the index page so it's easy to find later on. Okay, um, and you could very well do that here as well. So if you want to keep your monthlies in front, I might do that. We'll see. I like, I kind of like writing it on the, the beginning here though, because it's in front of the dailies. Okay, so there are 31 days. The next tab is home. So I can't remember if I've migrated everything over yet. I don't think I did. Um, and then, so that's my main tab for the side. And then underneath I've got routines and chores. And I don't have much here. I have these listers gonna list. Um, these are from Fancy Plans Co. And what I do is I write all of the stores that I normally shop from. So for example, um, and like, if I get lazy, sometimes what I'll do is take a sticky note and just write down random stuff that I want to buy, and then I'll sort it through my list later. So I'll have a Superstore list, I'll have a Sobeys list, and I'll have a Walmart list, and maybe like Rexall or something. So Rexall is a drugstore, um, because there are certain things I get from Walmart, Sobeys, and Superstore that I can't get from each other. So I have separate lists for that. Okay, the next one is sinking funds, so we are going to quickly fill this out. So how we use these inserts, these are actually from a place called the List Lab and I have like the total um, bundled kit. So I have like home, business, like everything. I've used a lot of these for my business expenses as well. This I've printed on regular normal printer paper so that I wouldn't take up extra room in my Franklin planner because my Franklin planner is usually so full. Um, but the previous ones, I actually used the check register from Franklin as well. So you can use those in conjunction. So depending what you have, just use whatever. You can even even use grid paper or um, dog grid note paper. It doesn't matter. Um, you can draw your own lines. And how I use this, I don't even bother changing the titles. All I do is I put the date of the transaction. I put the... Um, I put the standing amount, so usually the first one will be like how much I have, and then added to or subtracted to. So if it's subtracted to, um, I'll put like brackets around it, and if it's added to, I'll just put a positive number, and then the total. Okay, and then the next line, I'll always start with the total from previous, so that I have an accurate number. And then usually at the end of things, I'll have like a total, um, of our total of our sinking funds. So that's just sinking funds. And um, this is money to save up to buy stuff or to pay stuff back. Uh, and that one's, I guess, only to the parents. So, but everything else is like a sinking fund that we, you know, put so much money in away every, every month to be able to buy at a certain time. So property tax, we need, you know, $2,500 by the end of June or, garden I want $600 by May so um, that's what we do there okay so that is property tax the next one is school I have the inserts in here but I do not have them filled out I will wait for this um actually let's just uh we'll put the date so my son starts school again on the 8th of January so I'd have to look at so the week of the 20. Fourth, the ending of the 24th, which is Christmas Eve, is week 16. So the 25th to the 31st would be week 17. And then the 1st to the 7th would be week 18. So this would be week 19. Okay, so I finished that and then I have one more week back here, but I'll just leave that blank um, because I'll probably switch the color for February along with my binder. <laughs> okay, and the next tab I have in here um, is personal. <clears throat> so in here, um, my first bottom tab is health. Okay, um, 
So I've got my habit tracker. I'll quickly fill this out as well. So I'm just going to letter um, January on here because I realize it's not on here. Okay, so there's a couple of things that I changed. This is a biohacking tracker insert from Jane's Agenda. These are printables. Um, I changed the quality of food and I changed that to pain because I have um, pain. I also change vitamins to inhaler and then I fill, I change these as well. So this one is pain. This is inhaler. And then what I do is I do water here and I put in if I have three, two, or one bottles. This is meds for AM and PM. And this is vitamin. Okay, guys, so I changed those things. Um, again, this is also for January. So um, I'm just going to let her January on here. I might just... Do it like this. Okay. <clears throat> and then um, the other thing I have back here is this grid paper. This is from Franklin Covey. And the things I track on this grid paper, I actually have um, already copies on a different paper that I'm still using. So one is a cycle tracker. So I do, um, I correlate my moon, the moon phases with my cycle, which is kind of cool actually. Um, and then the other thing that I do is <clears throat> a weight loss tracker, um, and then I do a graph of my weight loss tracker. So I won't actually fill that out here, but that's what I use this grid paper for. And then I have a couple of these sheets here, so that's on my grid paper, and then I have these from Fancy Plants Co. So I use my Apple Watch stats. Um, it transfers all the data that tracks from my body every day to my iPhone. And then I fill out my steps, um, my calories burned, how much sleep I had, how much water I've taken, and then my meals. So it's kind of cool to see, um, and then to see how, like, you know, how much weight you've lost in correlation with what you've eaten or how much exercise you've had. So that's really, really cool. Okay, so then the next bottom tab is reading. That's the last bottom tab. I have this from Jane's Agenda. This is a reading list. And then um, I have, <laughs> this was actually a, I realized I'd used part of it and I didn't, I had to like glue it together. So, and I'm just going to ignore that sheet there. This is a reading log. So on this side, I went one to 30. Here I went 31 to 60. And then on this side, I went 61 to 100. So this is where I'm going to keep track of all of the books that I'm going to read this year. My goal is to do a hundred books for the entire year. Um, and it's going to be hard. So January, I have to read nine books. Um, I think I put that in my goals. I can't remember now. Let's see. Oops. Yeah, read nine books. So that is my goal for um, January. So what I would do is just simply highlight one to nine. And that's my goal for January. So that'll be like my color coding. Um, okay, so <clears throat> then um, what I have in here is books to read. So this is ideas of books that I want to read. So it's um, two-sided. This is from Jane's Agenda. And then I have my own list. So these are all nonfiction. Um, and by nonfiction, they're more of like um, personal self-help books. 
So these are actually like some of the ones I want to read. So the only ones I've read are the ones that I've crossed out, which is literally like, I don't know, three books. That's it. Um, and then these are more nonfiction that I want to read. These are fiction books I want to try out. So these are all the fiction books. I probably have to update this because I have read a lot of them. Because I've read a lot of them. Then these are some witchcraft books I want to read. Um, I've got a winter reading list from Jane's Agenda. And then I have a project side tab. So these are uh, someday inserts from Jane's Agenda. None of this stuff is filled out. It's just like sitting here to be filled up. Um, project paper from Jane's Agenda, I believe. This is projects from Cloth and Paper. Positive affirmations from Cloth and Paper. Idea um, <laughs> filler paper from Cloth and Paper. And um, then I've got some Fancy Plants Co. paper in here. So this is just, oh yeah, and then this is um, from the, the Leadership. Um, paper right here but yeah this stuff is just fancy plants co and then you can write like multiple lists I was thinking maybe using this for packing lists I think that's perfect and that's it um, at the back I do have a page lifter so this protects your back papers from getting destroyed and in here I can't remember which stickers I have but these are Chrissy Ann designs and I figured that these would also go with my uh, my kit this month I believe this is January stars if I'm not mistaken um, the only problem with these stickers is that they are vinyl, so they can't write on them with anything other than like an oil-based pen. And uh, I usually use like a, a Pigma Microperm or a Sharpie. And I don't like the way it writes as much, so I'm going to be using Planners Anonymous. So anyway, that is it for my 2024 setup. I will have a specific January setup, so please feel free to watch that as well. But I wanted to mostly share the inserts I was using for 2024. And as far as Franklin Covey inserts, I will be purchasing more. Um, I just kind of held off for now. So obviously these go with my January setup, but February, I need something pink, you guys. And I'm kind of thinking I might skip the Blooms inserts this year. I might go to her point of view for the classic as well. I do have her point of view for, for a compact um but i want to play with it. i think it's so pretty the new ones that came out um just this year they redid them they are gorgeous and the pretty pastels and blues and greens really go with any planner um so i think i'll pick those up as well and then we'll see what else comes or what else i decide on but it might be between this one and that one and i think that'll be okay so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to, um, you know, to ask them down below. And the pen I'll be using for this month, for January anyway, is the Energel um, by Pentel. It's a liquid gel ink, but this pen is the same as the one I was using last year. So it is a titanium or a like an aluminum alloy. It's a heavy metal pen, and I use these... Um, I use these specific pen refills. I did have a question before, so I just want to show you guys. The Energel Roller Pen Refill 0.7 Needle Tip. I prefer needle tip. Needle tip is where it's like a small little needle instead of like a regular pen tip. And the code number is LRN7-A. And I always get mine in black. And um, they are perfect for not smearing. You can go over it with a highlighter and it doesn't smear. And it's practically instant. Uh, instantaneous drying so that's why I love them so much so that is it from me and for this video so thank you guys so much for watching please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it if you are new please subscribe I would love to have you join my channel and uh, watch as watch how I plan in my Franklin planner I usually do weekly plan with me but usually during Christmas I'll do like a plan miss for the month of December so if that's something that you are interested in press the bell button so you'll be notified when I upload new content and I will see you guys in the new year happy new year everyone Bye-bye.